Hi, I'm James, and today on my desk I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 500 ISK laptop. Uh, this is one which has been donated uh, because I am currently refurbishing and um, upgrading some laptops for a local school uh, for people to use for homeschooling. And we are fitting just a small SSD into this. I will also look at how to replace the battery, although we are not doing that today, and fit uh, different DIMM modules if that is a requirement. But to start off with we are just removing all the screws that we can find from the base of the machine. So we have three here which are for the keyboard. Uh, we shouldn't need to remove the keyboard but obviously you need to remove the screws because they're going through the base. And as usual I am placing all the screws just in the same order that they come out, just to the side on the desk here. These two corner ones which hold the hinges are slightly thicker, uh, the rest are relatively thin and the same as what is coming out of the keyboard, but we are just going to work our way around, there shouldn't be too many more of these. Like I say, this machine, we are just fitting a very small 128GB uh, SATA SSD into this uh, because we are just basically for uh, Office 365 usage by students and obviously cheapest drives that we could get in but improving the performance versus the mechanical hard drives these machines were given to us with. With screws removed from the base, we now want to flip the laptop back over and open it up with the pry tool on the top edge and begin lifting the clips from the keyboard with that done we can then unplug backlight and we have to reach in under here and lift that clasp up and then we can unplug the keyboard. With that done we then should find two screws underneath here which we need to remove. Now we can flip the laptop back over, take our pry tool and press in on the front edge of the machine between the base and this plastic lip and what we are trying to do is press down, get the pry tool in and then lever up to release the base from the plastic of the palm rest. This shouldn't be too difficult, obviously stiffness can just pr depend on whether the laptop has been apart before and the uh, the condition of the, the base, but on this one fairly simple to just start lifting. And with all the screws removed we then can lift that out. Once inside, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery. And to do that, we have just got the cable coming from the battery to the main board here. And we are just going to grip that and gently unplug it. Now, if we wanted to replace the battery, we have two screws here. And by undoing those, We can then lift the battery out from the chassis and then obviously to refit a new one simply put it into place and screw in. Now the memory modules here I believe are DDR3 1600 and we have two 4 gig modules so we are not going to be changing that but to take them out we simply pull each side and release as such. In fact, this is an eight and a 
four gigs, so we're not going to be changing that certainly. And then the same on this one. Pull the two side legs, mirror module pops out, reinsert angled, and press down. To replace our hard drive now with the SSD, we have a clip here for this cable, and we're just going to use something a little bit heavier, like a USB stick. No. Like this HDMI adapter, we'll just hold that down and out of the way. And then we have four screws, including this one warranty one, which we are not worried about because this laptop is well out of warranty. To remove the 2.5 inch hard drive. Uh, as far as I can see, there is no M2 slot inside this machine. So if you're looking to fit an SSD, your only option is going to be this. And then with that done, we can lift and pull the drive to release it. And then to remove the drive from its caddy, we have four screws mounted on the edges. So we will remove those. And then lift out the drive and taking note of where the SATA Connect cutout is, place our solid state drive in place. Uh, we are only fitting, like I say, cheap SSDs into these um, because we are really working on donations. We are trying to cost effectively upgrade as many machines as possible. Um, on this particular machine, again, we're just going to clean and install Windows 10 uh, because we are not interested in transferring any data that was previously on it. Um, if you are looking to transfer data across, then I typically use True Image, and I do have a video on the channel showing how to do that to clone data between drives. So with that fitted, we can then slot our SSD back into place. refit the screws reconnect this little IO boards cable so slot it in as far as it will go and press down the latch and then reconnect the battery. Make sure it's pressed all the way in. Sorry I realise that that's blocking your view of it as I do that. Now we simply have to refit the base. going to put in a couple of screws into the back, so the back corners. Flip the machine over and refit the three screws, including the third one which I did not spot initially. And then reconnect the backlight just by pushing this cable in. and the keyboard itself by pulling this cable out and clipping down this connector then slot the bottom edge in and press the key 
forward, back down into the chassis. With that done, all that's left now is simply to refit the remaining screws into the base and we are ready to get this system installed with Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments and give me a thumbs up if it's helped you upgrade your system and thanks for watching.